Okay, some of you may be thinking, oh, he talks about God and Jesus and everything, but what religion is he? Okay, I look at myself as being someone that believes in God, the God of the Bible. I believe in Jesus. Jesus is our saviour. If you believe in him, um, he did die. He rose from the dead. He was crucified. I believe in Jesus, the Jesus of the Bible. I do not follow any church at all. I'm not a Catholic. I consider myself to be more of a Protestant, but I don't follow the teachings of any one church because I have noticed that all, a lot of Protestant teachings have all... Um, they have some beliefs that, you know, they go against each other with some of them. I think that there's not one Protestant church that I've seen, and there may be one, I'm not saying there's not, but I have not seen one of them that seem to believe everything that is true. Like with the rapture. There's a whole lot of churches that believe different things about the rapture. There's a lot of churches that believe different things about December 25th was the birth of Jesus. Or the um, crucifixion with Easter. I think that Easter is pagan. And there's a lot of churches that go, Ah, oh, no, that, that's fine to believe in Easter and that. But no, I, I'm not going to. I, I will not add Easter which is pagan, to my Christian beliefs. I'm just not going to do it. I, I don't believe that Jesus rose from the dead on Sunday. I, I don't believe that. It, you can't fit three days in there. It, but that's what it is. I believe the Bible. I don't believe the teachings of any church. I believe some teachings from this church and some teachings from that church. I reject some teachings from this church and some from that one. So I think that the clear reading of the Bible should be enough. God hasn't been like, oh, well, I'm just going to, you know, give the truth to those few select people that can have extreme intelligence to believe it. I think that he gave it so that Everyone has a chance to read it, believe it, and understand it, and they have a choice. Will I believe it or not? Will I follow God or not? I think that the clear reading of the Bible should be enough for anyone. So, I have no denomination. Okay, that's just to clear it up if anyone was thinking, oh, what, what religion or whatever. Okay. There we go, and that's the best I can describe. Okay, bye. I forgot to add, I, I do believe that some people are given the ability to see truth clearly and reject lies. I'm not sure at what point people are given the so-called eyes to see. I don't know if it's before or after they accept Jesus. I'm, I honestly don't know, but I do believe that there are people that are given sight, the understanding of, yes, God is real, Jesus is real, Jesus is not some metaphor, he's not the sun in the sky, he's not all of this. With the sun in the sky, the S-U-N, and the sun, someone's son, that is a male, S-O-N, that only works in English. So you get these new ages trying to fool people with the... English language. I don't believe that. I think that God is a real person. He's not a metaphor. He's not some natural force or intelligence or anything. I don't buy into this Luciferian propaganda garbage at all. Jesus is real. He's not the sun. He's not intelligence. He's not a metaphor. He's not any of this garbage. He is how he's described in the Bible. Okay? So, that's what I believe. <laughs> Well, that's some of what I believe, okay? I'm not a Luciferian, like the New Ages say, oh, you know, they believe that Lucifer is a good guy now. They believe that he's like one of the heroes that unchained man and gave him the ability to think for himself. Freedom of mind. That's, that's not good. That is one of the most terrible gifts. If you watch 2001, A Space Odyssey, or whatever it's called, 2001, you see how all the creatures were there. They were all getting, there was no murdering. Maybe they had a little bit of a 
misunderstanding or a little bit of an argument where they'd make a few sounds and then one of them, one group would move off. And then you see the intelligence was bestowed upon these creatures. And what was, what, what happened after that? They began to kill each other, use weapons to kill. <laughs> yeah, that's a real great gift. Sarcasm intended. That, that's, that's one of the most terrible, horrible piece of crap gifts ever. If anyone says Lucifer is a great guy for giving us this gift, then I think that's completely twisted because men turn around and murder people and they prefer what happened after the intelligence was given to what it was like before the intelligence was given where things did get along quite fine and there was no murdering. So what kind of person would prefer it to be... <laughs> how it is with things murdering each other. It's... it's twisted logic. I... I don't know. Well, actually, I, I've got an idea. I think it's Satan deceiving people and getting them to believe ridiculous stuff. Anyway, here we go. I'm going now. Some of these New Ages that have a understanding of what the New Age really is, which is Luciferianism. You can't separate Luciferianism from the New Age. A lot of them that actually have an idea, they, they know that the New Age is Luciferianism. And one of their great heroes was Prometheus, Prometheus for giving the gift of fire, the gift of intellect. Oh, he's such a great guy because years ago, we were all just cavemen huddled in the darkness in a cave, thinking, oh, listen to all of those sounds of wild animals that could tear us apart at any moment. But Lucifer, Prometheus, gave us the gift of intellect, and we were able to turn sticks and stones and things into weapons to defend ourselves. We were able to have the intelligence to create a fire so that the animals may be scared of it. But it's not a gift at all. If Satan, Lucifer, didn't give the gift of intelligence to start with, then there'd be no need to have the intelligence to defend ourselves from the attacks of the creatures. Just like in 2001, before the gift was given, things got along just fine. So, it was Lucifer that introduced all of this horrible stuff, and they're praising him for giving us the intelligence to stop this horrible stuff that Lucifer introduced in the first place. So it's like, that's really twisted logic there, man. So, I don't know why they don't grasp. You know what, they, they, a lot of the Luciferians in the New Ages, they claim to be so intelligent, but they don't see things that are this simple. It's simple, man. It's really simple to grasp. I mean, you, just, you just don't. I, I really wish, I honestly wish, that everyone could see what the truth really is, believe the truth, get along, and don't kill each other, live peacefully, no matter what the truth is. It doesn't matter if it's the truth of the Bible or the truth of evolution or whatever. What it, If, for some weird reason, the truth is something that no one's ever thought of before, then I wish for that truth to be known by everyone and for us all to get along. But I firmly believe the truth can be found in the Bible. Please, read it. And use your mind. Use that great, that great gift that was given by God. I'm not talking about the, the fraudulent gift by Satan. I'm talking about God giving you the ability to think for yourself. Alright? Not the ability to think of ways to kill and everything like that. It's a great gift. Satan's gift is like dung. Okay, bye.